today we're going to talk about not waiting for the perfect time. I always find myself waiting to create and became too reliant on this needs to be this way, the weather needs to be that way, and that's just simply a really bad habit to have as a photographer. These were just excuses for me not to create. Looking back at it, these were missed days that I could have captured something totally unique or something that was unexpected. And if the day was a bus, it wasn't a total bus because now I'm way more familiar with the place and I can come back when a whole different scenario of lighting and have a game plan. Over the weekend, I was contemplating whether to go to Joshua Tree or not. I woke up and it was just super gloomy outside. It was very unmotivating. And I told myself, why even bother? Is it even worth going? So I did what any normal person would do, uh, surround myself with gemstones and a witchcraft circle and prayed. Kidding, I looked in the mirror and told myself, not today. Weapons of choice for that day were the Hasselblad 500, the SX70 Polaroid, and of course, my X100V. Damn, she's a beauty. All wrapped to avoid any more scratches I have on it because it is super sensitive to scratches more than my ex-girlfriend was. Before I actually went to a Joshua Tree along the way, a little bit past the exit, there are the windmills. Uh, I've always seen on Instagram this nice, like, aesthetic looking shot of the, all the windmills lined up. And I wanted to try to find that, but I couldn't find the road. I ended up on the back side of the windmills, so not really what I expected, but shots still came out pretty nice. Next stop was Pioneer Town, and this is just a very small, small town. It's two bars, and then in between is like this western strip. Uh, there was like thrift shots, pottery, etc. I was expecting the place to be a lot more bigger. It's what she said. Finally arrived at Joshua Tree. This was a different entrance that I normally take next to the heart-shaped rock and the arches, or the arch I should say. Um, it was quite packed. Uh, it was Labor Day weekend, so there's that. As the day was coming to an end, I realized that I was very close to not even being there that day. I would have never discovered those new spots. I would have never taken a new path, a new road. I would have been drowning in my tears of sadness or watching some YouTube create. This about wraps up the video. Remember, be kind and keep taking photos.